first so hello everyone i hope you might have read the above post uh, now i am explaining the same thing with the help of a short video so as you can see over here this is the bjt symbol and this is the hybrid pi model of bjt which we had seen in the uh, post of bjt and basically we had proven this particular model with the help of a two port a two ports network okay so as you can see this is the rpi rpi model or oh, sorry hybrid pi model this is the rpi resistance and uh, you know what are the voltage that would be getting reflected across this particular resistance that would be uh, plus minus v pi this is the current source uh, gm v pi and this is the this is the resistance of the current source r not right so this this is the model which we had seen in the you know post of bjt so uh, moving forward so since we are dealing with mosfet so this is the construction of the uh, mosfets uh, this is the construction of the d mosfet and this is the uh, construction of e mosfet just focus on this particular thing that is construction of e mosfet uh, so as you can see over here uh, drain and source and even substrate they are not connected with each other so whenever you are representing symbol of mosfet so basically you are providing a small gap in between drain source and substrate uh, at sometimes internally the substrate is connected to the source so that's absolutely fine even if you you know uh, show in this way while in case of gate and substrate so as you can see there is one uh, insulator which is known as silicon oxide SiO2 there is one SiO2 layer present in between gate and substrate right so that's why whenever you are representing this particular thing in a symbol so you are representing a gap a small gap between gate and a source or basically gate and substrate right so this particular small gap it indicates that it is, it is an SiO2 or silicon oxide layer which provides high resistance obviously it is going to provide high resistance since there isn't any you know uh, connection in between gate and source or maybe gate and substrate right so over here rather than re representing uh, one resistor as r pi and showing it and showing that the value of r pi is infinite what you do you do not represent any resistor in between or resistance in between uh, g and s or basically a uh, gate and source and in inherently you assume that it it has very high or infinite resistance right that means what whatever the voltage that that you are providing to the gate and source it would be getting uh, reflected as it is to the to this particular thing i mean to this particular uh, terminal that is uh, uh, over here okay see the thing is that we had we in we uh, it's absolutely fine even if we don't uh, you know show the uh, representation of this particular resistor r pi because it is infinite so obviously it will act as an open circuit right so since it will act as an open circuit so obviously you know it will what it like whatever the voltage that is present on the gate and source it will pull that particular voltage and obviously the same voltage voltage is going to reflect right but rest all thing that is gm and vgs so as you can see over here in case of vjt it was gm v pi and over here it is the gm vgs the input voltage where it is just a second yeah gm vgs and this is the uh, uh, resistance of this particular current source okay so i hope you understood up till here now what we are going to see we are going to see the proof of transconductance so basically for that we obviously we need to know the uh, current equation so as we had seen in the previous post that the equation of current is uh, id is equivalent to k vgs minus vth the whole square right and uh, we all know that i mean the by the definition of transconductance uh, uh, the change in id with respect to change in vds it is known as transconductance right so obviously uh, we had uh, written the same thing in the mathematical form and then we had differentiated this particular equation of id as you can see just a second so yeah this was the equation of id and we had uh, you know we are substituting it in the uh, in this particular equation and then we are differentiating it uh, with res uh, with respect to vgs or the input voltage right after differentiating we are getting we are we are getting this particular equation that is gm is equals to 2k vgs minus vth right now what we are doing we are arranging this particular equation one and as you can see over here uh, if you could see if you are you know taking this particular square over here that means we are taking the square root right like we are taking this k below just a second so it would be vgs minus vth is equivalent to uh, id by k right and then what we are doing since it is in square so we are taking the square root so like sorry we are taking the square and thus we are getting the square root on the other side so this is equivalent to under root id by k so i had written the same equation over here and i had uh, given the equation I, I had given the name of this particular equation as equation number three and then what i'm doing 
I'm putting this equation number three in this particular equation. That means GM is equals to GM is equals to 2K and I'm putting this value over here. That means 2K into uh, under root ID by K under root ID by K. And now if you could see very clearly, uh, if I'm putting this K uh, inside this particular square root, so it would be two under root ID into K square divided by, oh sorry, K square, just a second. It should be K square divided by K. So obviously this K and K, K square it is going to cancel. And thus we are getting un true under root ID by K, sorry, ID into K. So if you could see very clearly, I had done the same thing over here. I had put this value in this particular equation that is uh, equation number two. And thus, if you could see very clearly, I had taken this K in to the inner side, I mean in the square root and thus, you know, uh, we are getting k square and then we are cancelling this k and k square and thus we are getting this particular equation of the transconductance. So the, remember this particular formula, this is the formula for transconductance that is gm is equivalent to 2 under root id into k. Okay. So I hope you understood this particular video. If you like this particular video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.